Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors. My name is Chris. It is a beautiful, somewhat cloudy Tuesday afternoon in Westlake Village, California. Anyway, we're going to jump into Bitcoin's price action, traditional markets, and it looks like they're absolutely getting schlacked. And we're going to cover, um, well, a big announcement today. You can now download the Bitcoin Advisors app available on the iPhone and Android. And here's the number one thing you can do to learn how to trade cryptocurrency. Number one, you need a trading plan. Number two, you need to back test that trading plan. And number three, you practice trading with a testnet account. So for a limited number of subscribers, we're allowing you to set up a free testnet account. You can start with an aggressive portfolio, a moderate portfolio, or a conservative portfolio. So you don't have to risk your own money playing and gambling. You can set up a testnet account. So don't be late to that party. And uh, we do have years of experience helping people invest in Bitcoin and other cryptos within their IRA or 401k. If you'd like to get the free investor guide, you can always click on the link in the description below. And don't forget to click on the bell and hit that like button. Okay, so let's jump right in the price action charts themselves and... We got Bitcoin uh, on the CME, on the daily chart here. And what did we say yesterday? Any kind of a four-hour closure below 43,000 was likely to be get continuation to the downside targets here. Um, you know, here's, here's how I'd kind of be looking at this right now. Um, we could bring up, kind of lower our next... Um, Point of failure to 40,100, the last little bit of hopium for the bulls there. We could get a bounce here, and then we could draw this out like a, a, a little um, ascending triangle or and something like this. And what would the measure move on this be? Usually these triangles break at about 75%, so I imagine that... This is on a four-hour chart, but I imagine that comes somewhere around Thursday. Um, so could we get a little more bouncy action here? Maybe. Uh, but with what traditional markets, NASDAQ looks like the biggest down day we've seen uh, in quite some time today. But the measure move has us pointed down right around uh, 38,300. And I would say we get a small bounce there. Uh, but I am looking for continuation all the way down to about 32,000. Um, if that area does break. So um, with that in mind, uh, a negative result like a government shutdown or a major disagreement uh, on this trillion dollar, what is it, a $3 trillion infrastructure deal, um, I would say that is a big negative for, for the markets. And, and again, um, Taking a look at traditional markets here, the NASDAQ uh, really coming to, um, you know, kind of our last point of uh, hopium right there at uh, 14,700. We're down 400 points for the day. And if you put on the volume profile, you can see that we are clearly below the point of control here. So, uh, you know, this is kind of the last hope for the NASDAQ, I'd say. Any kind of a daily closure. Uh, below, I'd say this level right here at 14,700, uh, that, that is going to, you know, be the etchings of the beginning of a market move, you know, probably 15 to 20% over some time, maybe over, you know, not going to happen in one day, but, uh, things are getting brutal out there. Um, and with that, let's take a look at Ethereum real quick. And, you know, Ethereum is probably going to do whatever Bitcoin does, but more, right? So, uh, you know, if we break anywhere below 2,700 here on a daily or a four-hour closure, I'll be looking for a move back to the bottom side of the range around 1,850, 1,800, and then hold your breath. And, I, you know, I really don't think we break from there. I think, you know, probably what happens with Bitcoin here is... Um, you know, again, uh, probably something like this. If we put on our little drawing arrow here. So what happens here? 
what happens here? Let me see if, okay, so um, we did kind of draw this out last time, and then here's probably what happens, something like this. We come back down, and then if we put in another lower high there, that's when uh, I, I'd say, you know, put on your hard hats and uh, some of those $20,000 targets could be in mind. I do happen to think it holds it up around 30,000. But again, if we put in, you know, more lower highs on our daily time frame, you know, it's just trend continuation. And another thing, let's bear in mind, we do have the quarterly closure coming up here. And with that, the quarterly closure, what are we keeping an eye on? Uh, this level right here, Bitcoin needs to close above the topside Trillinger band, coming in now at 43,565, uh, probably around 44,000. If we cannot close back above there by Thursday, um, that's going to be a point for the bears. And then, again, looking at this on a weekly time frame, it's trend, right? So you got your first uh, major lower lows here, and you got a lower high, and then what probably comes next, a lower low, and then we'll be looking for a lower high. So trend is the name of the game, and we'll be keeping a close eye on these markets. Again, if you want to start trading, but you, you don't want to risk your funds, you just want to begin your journey, you could download the free app, set up a testnet account, We'll go with either a aggressive portfolio, a moderate portfolio, or a conservative portfolio, if you can even say that in cryptocurrency land. Again, this isn't financial advice. We're not financial advisors here, but we're like a Bitcoin coach here to kind of coach you through some of these turbulent waters as we're seeing right now. Thanks. Have yourself a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon.